LeBron delivered for LA. LeBron delivered a championship for the Lakers. How many people remember hearing that a lot in 2021 and 2022 when things were pretty dark for that franchise? And so the media started capping. The media started doing damage control. Today, I want to focus on that. I want to focus on the very idea that LeBron James delivered for Los Angeles. Do you realize that under LeBron's time with the Lakers, the Lakers made the playoffs via the play-in tournament three times? They wouldn't have even made the playoffs those three times if Adam Silver hadn't made this handicap. And of course, they didn't make the playoffs in 2018, 2019 either. But amongst that tenure of crap, you've got the Mickey Mouse bubble ring in a shortened season where some teams kind of sort of took it seriously. Congratulations. It was all worth it. Like I said, LA has gone through some dark years and the exception was a bubble ring, a ridiculous, really what it was, was the first in-season tournament. It was like an invitational. I mean, some of the players weren't even interested in participating. Uh, it was played in a practice facility type of environment. And there's a lot of reasons that the bubble chip was not legitimate, but I don't want that to be what this episode is about. Uh, if you look at before that, very dark times, when LeBron James arrived, 2021, 2022, they make it to the Western Conference Finals in 2023, which LeBron James almost single-handedly cost them. 2024 first round gentlemen sweep a little history lebron's arrival in la did not go well that was ugly and then you had the bubble ring if the bubble ring is the best thing you got out of what you've spent on lebron james then you were terribly ripped off and then you had not making the playoffs at all you had making the playoffs thanks to the in-season tournament which was likely invented by adam silver for LeBron James, seeing that LeBron James was going to need such a thing, and then getting swept, and then this year getting a gentleman's sweep. This has actually been an embarrassing time for the Los Angeles Lakers, and the franchise has required there to be stories made for the focus for the circus media to be looking at other things than the actual success of the team in order to stay relevant which is pretty sad. You don't spend as much money as you spent on LeBron James and give away as much as you gave away to still have to come up with ways to justify the failure. If this was some low market team, if this was some team that didn't have high expectations, then maybe, maybe you could call this a moderate success. But... This wasn't a budget-restrained, no-market franchise. This was the Los Angeles Lakers. LeBron delivered for the Lakers. Uh, more like the Lakers delivered for LeBron. Whatever he's wanted, they've provided. I mean, really, it is much more accurate to say that the Lakers delivered for LeBron. And every year, they've done everything they can to give him the best chances of looking as good as he can, meaning accommodating his dying ability to play basketball. But, but, there's an argument to be made that LeBron delivered. LeBron delivered clutch sports, which seems to be running the Lakers franchise now. LeBron delivered Anthony Davis, which kind of came along with clutch sports. By the way, that was illegal. The way that clutch sports went about getting Anthony Davis to Los Angeles, was illegal. He was actually fined. He was found guilty. Hey, what a proud moment for the Los Angeles Lakers to be involved in that. Now, LA people, listening, this is not me trying to crap on the Lakers franchise. This is me feeling your pain and trying to... Uh, vent for you, because there's a lot of you on my channel 
who have expressed your pain. And the fact that the Los Angeles Lakers have lost diehard fans, people that were going to Laker games since before Magic Johnson, have said, enough. I've had enough. That's what LeBron James delivered. Maybe he's delivering some dick. Because Jeannie Buss acts like he is delivering her some good dick. I always pictured LeBron as a premature ejaculating small dicked guy, but he's doing something right with Jeannie Buss. And of course, when people actually had the nerve to point out that that bubble ring was ridiculous and definitely deserves an asterisk, the media got busy saying some really ridiculous shit, such as maybe that was the most difficult championship yet. The real question was, how does LeBron kick out a fan that isn't even really there? <laughs> the most absurd shit you can think of. They'll say it. Man, it is resource intensive to have LeBron James on your squad, always trying to cover for his sorry ass. There are so many categories, which tends to be the case with LeBron James, that I have to break this up into different segments. We can look at just the salary, the amount of money that they've had to pay LeBron James in salary. He should have delivered a championship every year for that salary. There's who they gave up. There's the future. There's the fact that they were actually doing a great job rebuilding the future. LeBron came in and just shat all over that. There's LeBron James shatting on the next iteration of Lakers by saying, I want this person. There's the coaching situation. LeBron getting Vogel fired. LeBron getting ham fired. And then when his buddy JJ Redick is considered for the coaching position, what's the media say? LeBron has been staying away from the coaching decision. Right. If approving and vetoing decisions is staying out of it, then sure, okay. You guys have heard all of this before. This isn't new to you, but the aspect of this that I find the most interesting is who they brought in. Yeah, they lost a lot of people, and they've lost a lot of future picks. They traded away people that they shouldn't have traded away and had some people not want to come there because of LeBron James. But what I really want to look at is that 2020 squad and Quite frankly, some of the squads since then have been pretty darn impressive. That squad was good enough that if you'd replaced LeBron James with just about anybody, you would have had similar success. Oh, shit. Now that's talk. That uh, is blabbing your mouth. You better be able to back that up. And guess what? That's why I've been breaking down the 2020 finals because LeBron James all the way back then was doing the same shit that he's doing now. Everyone else is doing the heavy lifting and he will show up when there is a wide open dunk to be had. Ladies and gentlemen, the Los Angeles Lakers never needed LeBron James. In fact, they would have had more success if he had never come there. The amount of money they have spent, what they've given away, my God, a franchise should have three championships at least, at least from that. LeBron James is the reason you only have a bubble chip. You know what? He did deliver something that, while it's not respectable, is pretty undeniable. Getting a thousand fucking more free throws <laughs> than the opposition. <laughs> there are advantages, okay? You, you got me. You broke me down. There are advantages to having LeBron James. In fact, it 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 allows goofy ass fuckers like Austin Reeves to get away with murder, similarly to the way that LeBron James does. God, you got me. There is a LeBron James effect. LeBron James delivered for L.A. for the audience to see the entertainment of a man who is allowed to take five to six steps without being whistled, a man who is allowed to act like a lead blocker for a football team without being whistled. <laughs> he did deliver. Man, he delivered. 
but you see how this works toward an ultimate script. Okay. You can call me conspiracy theorist. You can say I'm a hater, but at the end of the day, they got what they wanted, what people like Nick Wright, et cetera, wanted, because when they go on their show and let's say someone has the nerve to say that, you know, the eye test isn't working out for LeBron James, he can be like, he has 2020 Finals MVP. He has the in-season tournament MVP. He delivered a chip for Los Angeles. And it's all crap. It's all bullshit. These are all things that he didn't deserve. He didn't earn. And really aren't anything to even be proud of. The fucking chip. The in-season tournament. <laughs> Look, LeBron fans really aren't interested in reality. They're not. In fact, they've become so clingy to a false reality that they will lash out nastily at anything that suggests that their false reality is false. That finals championship set records for the lowest viewership in NBA history. And this is in the bubble. No one had anywhere to go. People were trying to find things to watch. How, <laughs> how can it be this low when no one has anywhere to go? I mean, this shows you that even the fans didn't take this shit seriously. What were they doing? You tuning into anything else except for the NBA finals? People would rather watch memories of the real goat. Something that they could stream at any time. You know, it's not a current event like the NBA Finals. They could watch this at any time. And it's still beating the Finals. Because they would rather watch the real goat than a fake goat. Even if the real goat hasn't been on the court for 20 years. That alone proves that it's not the toughest chip ever to get. If it was a tough chip to get. If it was an amazing Finals. People would have been watching it. I'm going to bring part one to a close, but I want everyone to be assured that I'm covering every aspect of this. When I say that, you know, you could replace LeBron James with just about anyone because that squad was so stacked. Well, I'm going to show you. I have been breaking down the 2020 finals and the LeBron of 2020 is the LeBron of 2024, a guy who doesn't play defense and looks for opportunities to look good while his teammates do the heavy lifting. I'm also looking at the finances of bringing in LeBron's, comparing what he cost versus what he brought in. That's a separate video. So let me know what you thought about part one um, when you're giving feedback. Remember, parts two and three, I may even need to make a part four, are all on the way. So it's not that I overlooked anything. I'm just breaking it up because this is a lot to digest. Anyway, I'm glad you listened. Please give a like and a subscribe and comment. Let me know your thoughts on this video.